What is the external graphic card? It is a way to connect desktop graphic card to laptop, so you can have desktop graphics performance in a normal laptop. By this way you will save money instead of buying new gaming laptop and in same time it is better than desktop because it is still portable laptop. How many ways are used to connect external graphic card to laptop? There are different ways to connect external graphic card to laptop like mini PCI Express port. This is available for all laptops which have Wi-Fi device. Express card port. This is only available for laptops which have this port. Thunderbolt port. This is only available for laptops which have USB 3.1 Type-C port. Alienware graphic card amplifier. This is only available for Dell Alienware laptop. Full X16 PCI Express port. This only available for some models of MSI gaming laptop. USB 3 port. Which way is suitable for most of laptops? MPCI Express connection is the most common connection because it can be done by removing Wi-Fi device from laptop and connect a cable from MPCI Express to external graphic card. How to connect to Internet after removing Wi-Fi device from laptop? You can use two ways. First way is using Wi-Fi USB adapter which is available at any place. Second way is using Ethernet cable. Can I use laptop internal LCD with external graphic card? Yes, you can use it easily with Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. For Windows 10, you have to modify NVIDIA driver to use internal LCD. What is the difference between using internal LCD and external monitor? Using internal LCD with external graphic card will cause around 30% performance drop compared with using external monitor. Why there is a performance drop by using internal LCD compared with using external monitor? In case of using internal LCD, CPU send data to external graphic card for graphic processing and then external graphic card will send process data again to laptop to display it on internal LCD. In this case, MPCI Express bandwidth will be used in two ways and this will waste bandwidth and cause performance drop compared with using external monitor. By using external Monitor CPU will send data to external graphic card for processing and then external graphic card will forward process data directly to external monitor. When can I use internal LCD with external graphic card? You should have NVIDIA dedicated internal graphic card plus Intel graphic card. Also your laptop should support NVIDIA Optimus feature. Last step it to disable NVIDIA dedicated internal graphic card from BIOS. How much power required for external graphic card? You can use any power supply which gives power more than 200 watts because most of high-end graphic cards consume maximum 200 watts. It is better to use power supply which has 6 and 8 power pins in case that you will use graphic card requires extra power through 6 and 8 pins. Can I use USB 3 to connect external graphic card to laptop? Yes, you can but this will be with lower performance because of bandwidth limitations. Is there any performance drop by using PCI Express compared with desktop PC? Yes, there is around 15 to 20 percent difference. This difference is because of bandwidth limitation which is 6 gigs per second. Can we use new graphic cards like GTX 1060, GTX 1070 and GTX 1080? Yes, it will work normally. What about graphic card temperature? Maximum temperature while playing heavy game will be around 40 to 55 Celsius.